This is such a good question. This user asks, is there some convention for exit codes like there is with HTTP? Let's say error with the argument count is one, with argument values is two. Uh, so long story short, there is no like strict rule for this, obviously. There is a little bit of convention. They all com come from different places. It seems like we are approaching a convention, which is pretty cool. Um, I say approaching a convention because what I mean by that is I believe, I'd have to double check this one, but I believe the latest POSIX specification actually does start um, laying out different exit codes and what they should mean. Uh, which is pretty cool. Like this, this wasn't done in the past. Um, I'm not going to raise a value judgment on whether we should be doing that or shouldn't be doing that. But the convention here, I think, is pretty neat because um, I've definitely seen it in a couple places. Like if you're ever bored, go look at the curl man page. Do man curl. Look at how many exit codes they defined. It's incredible. You could know exactly why curl breaks. Um, beyond that, I know Bash itself. If you were to use like the test built in in Bash, zero is success. One is the opposite of success. Like, like I was able to test these things and it's not equal. Let me rephrase that. Zero is equal. One is not equal. Zero is test successful. One is test not successful. Two is there was a problem running this test. So like if you were doing a regex match, zero would mean that yes, it matched the regex. One would be no, it didn't match the regex. Two would be I couldn't compile the regex. That's kind of what that means. If you use software like Nagios, Nagios can run checks on different machines to like do, you know, uh, systems administration, making sure like system monitoring and stuff like that. I might just be showing my age here. I don't know how many people use Nagios. I love it. I think it's great. A Nagios check is just a program with a well-defined exit code. Zero is success. One is warning. Two is critical. Three is unknown. So there are conventions there and to that software, it means something. But beyond that, like a more global convention, I think the closest thing is probably the latest POSIX specification, unless I just completely made that up. Um, so yeah, that's all I know about it.